Good morning, dear friends. Welcome to Gurudeva online classes. Dear friend, as you know, we have completed certain materials into groups in previous class. Now we are going to start new lesson: separation of substance. Dear friend, in this lesson, topics to be covered: introduction, why separate substances, hand picking, dressing, winnowing, sieving. Sedimentation, decantation, filtration, evaporation, and condensation. These are all points to be covered in this lesson. Dear child, so separation of substances. What do you think will be learned in this lesson? You observe this picture. They are full of coins. You can separate the twenty-five cents coins, one peso coins. And five peso coins by the use of hand picking. You will see some mixed coin here. You have seen here in this bag. You have so many coins: five rupees coin, two rupees coin, one rupee coins, all mixed together. Okay, these are the one of the mixture of coin. This way, we have to give here only five rupees coin to your friend. Okay, two rupees coin you have to give here your another friend. Okay, so what we have to do? We have to separate here five rupees coin one side and two rupees coin another side. See, when you separate in five rupees coin, only five rupees coin you are picking from the bag. Okay. After separating five rupees, you will start to picking the two rupees coin from this bag. Why we need to separate these five rupees and two rupees coin? Dear friend, we have to give here five rupees. Coin to one friend and two rupees coin to another friend. Okay. We have to do separate here. Okay, this is we will call separation of substances. Let us see another example. Dear friend, you observe this picture also. Here you see we have all the fruits. You have apples, banana, mango, grapes. We have all variety of fruit in this basket. Okay. But you just want to eat mangoes. What do you do? You love to eat only mangoes. So you will start to picking the mango in this basket. This concept we will call separation of substances from the mixture. Yes, friend, we are going to start new lesson separation of the substances. See, out of other situation, mixture of various substances. This may be. Two. This may be more than two substances. Okay. When we want to separate these mixture, we need to use some of techniques. And here in this lesson, we are going to talk such kind of techniques, such kind of the method, such kind of the process. How we can separate substances from the mixture? What are those scenarios? Then we have to separate substances from the mixture. On our past lesson, you have learned everything about mixture. Now you know that mixture is a combination of two or more substances or compound. Well, mixing things are very important to everyone and to our daily needs, like cooking. But on the other hand, there are a lot of mixture around us which specifically needed to be separated in order to properly use and benefit it. By human, people do separating mixtures in order for them to get the things or substances they need and give it away with the other substance from the mixture. Take a look at these examples. Have you ever seen a rice grains? Take a closer look, and you will find other substances. Sometimes there are small stones, seeds, grass, dust. and even insects
and you don't want this to get in your food. That's why you need to find a way to get rid of these unwanted substances and be separated to your rice. On the other situation, in barrio or province, to make sure that the water is clean, people use clean cloth to filter the water. The cloth traps the dirt and sand and other particles and let the water pass through the cloth. By this way, you can put away the unwanted particles from your water. Substances in different mixture are usually separated from one another using a certain process or method. Let's say first one example here. What are such scenario? What are those scenarios we need to separate substances from the mixture? To separate here daily from the liquid aid, we have to we use here one of the technique, one of the method, that method we call filtration. Dear student, this is one of the scenario. Dear student, like this, we have so many scenarios that we need to separate substances from the mixture. Dear student, we have so many scenarios we need to separate substances from the mixture. Let's see second example. Dear student, see when we prepare the rice, you need to wash the rice. We have to separate here rice from the water. In this scenario also, we have to separate here rice from the water. We have to use here, here also one of the technique. This is also will call separation of the substances. Dear friend, let us see second example here. Dear friend, if you prepare getting dal, you need to separate here unwanted particle, undesirable particle from the dal. We have to pick here unwanted particles, unwanted materials, from dal. Okay, this is also one of the scenario. This is also one of the method. That method we will call hand picking method. Dear yes, sir, so many scenarios we have to need a separate substances from the mixture. To separation of the substances from the mixture, we need so many techniques, so many methods, so many processes. When we prepare tea, we need here water milk tea leaf after mixing tea leaf water and milk we are buying the this mixture after combining this mixture we have to separate the tea leaf from the liquid tea okay this is one of the method to separating substances from the mixture this separation of tea leaf is from the liquid tea separation of substance. This is also one of the method we will be using to separate unwanted, undesirable particles from the liquid tea. This is one of the separation of the substances. Let us see separation of substances. Different types of vegetable. We need to prepare the vegetable palau. 
dear friend, if I give one plate of vegetable around and I tell you, now your job is you separate here vegetables from this vegetable palau. What will you do? You will start here picking tomato one side, onion one side. Onion. This separating vegetables from this vegetable palau, what will you call? This method we will call, we will call hand picking method. Okay. This is one of the common example to separate of substances from it a mixture. Dear friend, my question is why do we need to separate substances? Is it very important to separate substances from their mixture? Yes, this is very important to separate substances from their mixture. Dear friend, we have some reasons why we need to separate substances from their mixture. We will discuss one by one. See, let us see which are those main reasons. This is one of the important reasons we have to need here to separate undesirable particles from their mixture. We need to separate substances from their mixture to remove the unwanted particles, to remove the undesirable particles from their mixture. For example, when we prepare the rice, we have so many unwanted particles in that rice. We have so many undesirable particles in that rice. We need to separate these unwanted particles. We need to separate these undesirable particles from that rice. After that, we have put in that rice. Therefore, this is one of the very important reason we have to remove the undesirable substances from their mixture. Okay, let us see second one reason here. To separate useful can be used for greatly that can be used for okay, this friend. See, second one reason to separate useful components which can be used separately. Okay. In that moment also, we need to separate substances from the mixture. For example, see, when we prepare a tea, we need to separate here liquid tea here. We are drinking here liquid tea only. Because of, we need to separate here useful components, useful materials from the mixture. This is second reason. These two reasons we need to separate substances from the mixture. First reason is to remove undesirable substances, to remove undesirable particles from their mixture. Second one is to separate useful components which can be used separately. These are the two main reasons we need to separate substances from their mixture. That's right. In this class, we have discussed here separation of the substances and some examples and reasons of separation of the substances. Okay, in tomorrow class, we are going to discuss methods for separation. Thank you.